Hi, welcome to the Essential Oils Virtual Make and Take Party video series. I'm Karen from HolisticallyEngineered.com. I have to start off by saying that I'm not a doctor and I cannot legally diagnose, treat, and or cure any disease. This presentation is for information purposes only and always consult a medical professional before attempting to adjust medications, diet, etc. So throughout this video series we'll be making lots of fun recipes that use essential oils. So you'll need a few things to start with. As far as essential oils go, the oils that come in the premium starter kit will be used throughout the video series. And these are known as the everyday oils and are great for getting started. In addition to the essential oils, you'll also need unscented castile soap, vitamin E oil, or you could also use almond oil or another oil that stays liquid at room temperature. And we will be using the Thieves essential oil or lavender essential oil. And you'll need some distilled water. This recipe requires a foaming soap container. You can either reuse an old one or you could turn a mason jar into a soap dispenser using a kit. Hi, this is Karen from Holistically Engineered and today I'm going to show you how to make homemade foaming hand soap. Let's get started. So what you'll need is an empty foaming soap container, the pump and the container. So you could reuse an old one. I just try to make sure the plastic is BPA free if I'm using plastic. Glass is preferred. You could buy a um, pump kit to turn a mason jar into a, um, a soap dispenser, but this using a leftover one seems to be the easiest method. So basically what you'll need to do is add two tablespoons of Castile soap to your container. And the soap I can find at my local grocery store. It's I use a like a unscented version so I can use my essential oils and be sure of the quality. And the soap is a natural soap. It doesn't, you know, have any kind of weirdo ingredients to it. To that I'm gonna add about a half a teaspoon of vitamin E oil. And that just helps add, um, you know, some moisture to the mixture because the soap can be drying, so it adds um, moisture so your hands don't get dried out or anything like that. And then um, you could use like a almond oil or any kind of oil that stays at room temperature, stays liquid at room temperature. That would work also. So as far as essential oils, you could do lavender for like a nice smelling oil or thieves so it's more antibacterial. So we'll go ahead and do thieves. And I'm gonna add 10 drops. And then get that mixed mixed together. And then next I'm gonna add the water. And it's distilled water. So that was about a cup of water, but it'll just depend on filling up your container. So now you can pump your soap.
And there you go. Homemade. This version is a Thieves version, which Young Loving does have a um, soap, a Thieves soap already made. So if you aren't into making your own, you could always pick up that. But this is a homemade Thieves foaming hand soap. You could also use lavender, which would be great. Um, a great smelling one or one you'd like to use. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you're ready to get started with essential oils, you can visit holisticallyengineered.com slash essential dash oils to learn how to become a wholesale member and to get your premium starter kit.